I've never been here before. And in she goes. Who can't resist some freshly baked treats? Hey guys, and welcome back to another Gacha Life mini movie. You guys have been asking me in the comments to do this story for a while now, and so I think it's finally time. This is Beauty and the Baker by Potato Berry. I'm going to guess this story is very similar to Beauty and the Beast, you know, because the names are pretty similar. So maybe the storyline will be similar too, but instead of falling in love with a terrifying beast, she falls in love with a local baker. If you don't know about Potato Berry, they make a lot of amazing gacha videos. I'm gonna link them in the description. Do make sure to go and check them out. Falling in love with a baker would be a very ideal thing. You'd constantly have your hands on good snacks. Muffins, bread, you name it, you've got it. That would be amazing. I just wish that I was good at baking. Guys, if you're good at baking or you wish you were good at baking, leave a like on the video. Let's try and hit 10,000 and I'll react to another gacha story. Right, let's get into it and check it out. I'm very curious. Ooh, it's starting. Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful intro. Beauty and the Baker. Long time ago, there was a charming prince called Noah. He's a very good looking man, but he was a very bad person. What the heck did he get up to? Very bad person? <gasps> One night, oh gosh, what is going on here? Old lady, that doesn't look like an old lady. That looks like a criminal. Please, I'm starving. Can I have something to eat, your highness? I wouldn't trust that old lady, honestly. Doesn't look like an old lady to me. Get out. Do you think we're giving food for free? <sighs> How pathetic. A fairy has appeared despite his attitude. She changes his appearance into a very unattractive and ugly looking boy. Wow. I thought it was just gonna be a thug or something. No, it's a fairy. How did I not guess that? I wonder. What is a fairy doing dressing as an old woman? I guess she was there to test him. Make sure he wasn't a horrible person, but he is. No power on earth can change it. Unless someone learns to love him, only that will break the curse. Present day. Bella! I'm Bella. Just a normal girl in the village. Bella, Belle, very similar. So I'm guessing this girl is the one who falls in love with the ugly boy Baker. But we all know he's not gonna look ugly because this is Gacha. All the characters in Gacha seem to be really cute for some reason. There she is running. Yes, auntie? Are you reading nonsense books again? Are you done with the house chores? Did you feed the ducks? Did you do the laundry? Of course you didn't. Bella, Bella! Timmy, Tommy, are they twins? Cause they do be looking like twins though. We came here to help you. We'll do all the chores for you. Oh really? Then start working. Gosh, auntie, calm down. No need for that attitude. Actually, you don't have to. You may go now. Don't worry, we got this. You guys are the best. Why did they just volunteer to do chores? Who are these people? I mean, whatever floats their boat, I guess. Good afternoon, Bella. Have a nice afternoon, Mary. Hello, Bella. Hi, Mr. Robert. Oh, here she is, skipping to the bakery. Are we gonna meet the baker? I wonder. Ooh, the bakery. I've never been here before. And in she goes. Who can't resist some freshly baked treats? Oh wow. I honestly do not think he's ugly. He's super cute. Look at those little elf ears. I just want to pinch him. Laugh if you want. I don't really care. Me? Laugh? Why would I? Just because you're different doesn't mean I have to laugh. Don't be like that to yourself. Did you bake those? Of course. Cool. I want to buy one for my father. It's inside the basket. Oh, he is really sweet. Maybe living a life as a baker has taught him not to be so rude to people. Treat people with respect. Thank you. Oh, who is this old lady? Did I just see Bella? Bella? Bella is a lovely girl. Yes, she is. She might be the girl who can remove that curse on you. Mrs. Bun, I've told you not to mention about my curse. Mrs. Bun and she works in a bakery. That makes so much sense. If I worked in a bakery, I'd be called Mrs. Baguette. My bad. I'll be more careful next time. But yes, she can help me. But how? Are you guys already planning on getting into a relationship with Bella? You just met. It was a very brief interaction. Oh, there she is skipping with the basket. Oh my gosh, won't it get like all damaged if she's throwing it about when she's running? Oh, what's happening? She looks shook. No, not the roses. Why, what's happened to the roses? Oh my gosh, these evil children have a pair of scissors to them. Rude. 
You shouldn't be cutting flowers, especially when they're not yours. Hand me the scissors, please. She started it, and Bella is ending it. Give over the scissors. When I was a child, there was a man who used to live on the street over, and he actually had alarms. So if you went near his plants, the alarms would go off, and he'd come out and start shouting at us. It was crazy. One time, I literally just rested on the wall, he came out and I think he told my parents. I've never recovered from it. <laughs> I never even touched your roses. No, I didn't. I tried to stop him. Who are we going to believe? Oh, we're definitely believing the little girl. Look, she is not having a good time. She didn't want to be involved. And she's scared now. She's scared of getting told off. Accusing someone is bad. Sorry. Hey, why don't you play with your sister? Yeah, drop the scissors, boy. Leave the roses alone. Let's play hide and seek, sis. Yay! Now quick, pick up the scissors. Yeah, there we go. Don't want anybody else getting a hold of those. Oh, Bella is back home now. Oh, she got a gift for her dad, didn't she? What's that you're holding? There, for you, father. That looks tasty. Thank you. Timmy, you look exhausted. I just came here to tell you that all of the work is done. Bless him, he's been out there all day working while she's been skipping off to the bakery. I owe you and your brother a lot. Where's your brother? Timmy already went home. I should head home too. Good night. Oh, she sat down reading her books. And what the heck is he doing here? Did he follow her? Or have they randomly just bumped into each other? I didn't know you loved books. Oh, it's you, the boy at the bakery. Actually, I have a name. Well, yeah. Of course you do. Be weird if you didn't. Of course you do. Sis, that's what I was saying. I'm Prince. I mean, I'm Noah. And I'm Bella. I know. She is worried. She's like, how did you know my name? That's really creepy. I don't blame her. I think I'd be creeped out too. Mrs. Bunn told me. May I sit with you? Sure. Come on, sit down. Let's read the book together. Is that a thing? Can you do that? Father told me I'll be meeting a prince this afternoon. Well, he wasn't wrong. Because your prince is right here, disguised as an elf. Oh, so that's why you are dressed. Aren't you supposed to be in the bakery by now? Mrs. Bunn gave me a break. And also, I've read this book before. You also love books? Of course. Bella! There goes Auntie again. I gotta go. Don't just leave your book, girl. Oh, I see. This is a glass slipper moment. But instead of a glass slipper, it's a book. A lot less glamorous, I've got to say. Hmm, she left her book. Oh, well. Did I call you? You can continue doing what you were doing. Is Auntie okay? She called you down and then forgot why? Auntie needs to get on some brain training games. <laughs> Same, to be honest. Oh, great. No chores for you. You left your book. Thank you, Noah. I don't know how she could leave her favorite book behind, but she did. Oh, Dad has turned up. Bella, the prince has arrived. Who is the prince? Why is she meeting a prince? I'm very confused. Is that your father? Yeah. You're back already? Prince Daniel wanted to meet Bella. I just have a bad feeling. Pleasure to meet you, my lady. They're right about you. You really are beautiful. I am happy to say that you'll be marrying me, Bella. What? Princes just do that? They just pick out someone to marry? That's creepy and I don't vibe with that. No. I'm sorry, Prince Daniel, but I'm not marrying you. Go marry a princess, not a village woman like me. Oh, sis is literally walking away from a life in a palace. Why? You could be rich. What are you doing? You could have a pony. You could have a princess bed. Anything. Literally anything. She's like, no, I'd rather have my books and my bakery. What is she thinking? Oh my goodness, the auntie set this up. Her dad can't believe it either. I messed up, father. Things happen so fast. I don't want to marry someone I don't love. I understand. I don't want you to be in a forced marriage. We love dad. Yes, that's the right thing to do. Oh, what's he got? It's an invitation for you from the prince. Go check yourself. It's a grand party at the castle. And that prince really invited me? When is the party? It stays here next week. Hold on. You have a business trip next week. Exactly. I'm sorry if I can't be there with you at the party. Father, it's fine. As if I'm going. You should go to the party. Enjoy your life. Have some fun. Not staying here in the house all day. I'll think about it. Wow, her dad really wants her to go to that party for some reason. Very strange. The next day. Hi, Noah. This is for me. Yes, that one is special. I baked that earlier. I wish I knew how to make these. Want me to teach you? 30 minutes later. Oh, wow. He's literally teaching her how to bake the cupcakes. Oh, no. Mrs. Bunn has walked in. 
and the oven's just been on fire. They might get in trouble. She doesn't look very happy, does she? Noah, what are you doing? The customers are waiting. And Bella, darling, you must go home now. Thanks for today, Noah. Bye. Oh, Noah, you are in trouble. What happened? Good morning, father. Hey, dad, I've decided to go to the party. Oh, really? Did you say party? Auntie, I wanted to ask Noah to accompany me. The baker boy? Yes. I'm very sorry, Auntie. It's fine, Bella. I'll provide your dress. Dress? Don't tell me you're going to a party wearing jeans. That is a big no, young lady. You wanted me to be with you at the party? Please, Noah, I want you to be there. Why did you stop? What if I told you I'm a prince? Then she'd laugh, because how is she just gonna believe that? You work in a bakery and you look like an elf. Prince? That is not a good joke, Noah. I'm not joking. I'm cursed because of my bad personality before. I don't know if that's true, but whether you're a prince or not, I still like you. I like you for being you. That really touched his heart, look. You can tell because he's touching his heart. <laughs> Hey, wait for me. Okay, I'm coming with you. Really? I'm so happy right now. Something's not right. I'm not wearing this. Then try this on. It seems like you're in love with Bella. I don't know, but maybe she's just amazing. Gotta go. Oh, look at him all dressed up. He's looking super handsome in his suit. Oh, wow. Here we have the classic Princess Belle dress. It's perfect. No, I mean... Yes, it's very nice. Auntie lacks the capability of being nice. Even if she really wants to, she's just an awful person all the time. I wish father could see this. Oh yeah, he's on the business trip, isn't he? He's gonna miss out on the prom or the dance or whatever this is. She got invited to a royal party. Oh right, I see why. The prince thinks he can change her mind. Is she coming? Oh, here she is strolling in, looking flawless. You came. You look beautiful tonight. Want to dance? Actually, she's dancing with me. Me. See you later, Prince Daniel. I can't believe you said that in front of the prince. I just don't want him around you. I hope you'll still like me when you see the real me. Come on, Noah. You know looks don't matter to me. I've started liking you since we became close. Oh, wow. He's transforming. Oh, yeah. I forgot how cute he was when he was the prince. He's adorable. Oh, my goodness. What is happening? We are rewinding. No power on earth can change it. Unless someone learns to love him. Only that will break the curse. And she does love him. So sweet. I'm getting emotional. I'm back. Oh, no. Prince Daniel is not impressed. So if it's true, Prince Noah, you're still alive? Who said I was dead? I've been in love with a prince all this time. I already told you before. Oh, wow, it's the fairy who put the curse on him. She was watching all that time. Oh, here he is strolling into the bakery. Mrs. Bun is not going to have a clue who he is. Noah, is that really you? It's me, Mrs. Bun. Oh, she remembers what he looked like when he didn't have the curse. I thought you forgot about me, Prince. I'll never forget the person who helped me when I had nothing. Oh, this is so cute. I really do feel bad for Mrs. Bun, though. She's a member of staff down now. She's gonna have to employ someone. I thought you were never coming back. I'm not gonna leave you all behind. I'm sure you're busy in the castle. You shouldn't be here. You belong in the castle. But I just got here. You and your family will live in the castle with me. And why is that? Because you're marrying me. Girl doesn't really have a choice. Again, what's with princes just barging in, telling people they have to get married to them? The end. Wow, I loved it. I loved how it was very similar to Beauty and the Beast. So guys, that is the end of this Gacha Life mini movie. What did you guys think of it? Let me know down in the comments. I thought it was super cute and I was happy that Prince Noah finally got to return into his body. Guys, if you want to watch another video of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.